Quick tick, quick tick, coming to you from Saskatchewan here today. Guess what, all you little quicks? It is finally time for another episode of Little Quick! Quick Dick knows that all of you certified little quicks have been very patient, waiting and waiting and waiting. So all the grown-ups are going to have to take the back seat and wait their turn. It is your turn now, all of my certified little quicks. This time on Little Quicks, we're going to be looking at some of the plants that you find right here in Saskatchewan. And Quick Dick's going to be asking you if you're looking at a flower, a weed, crop, or feed. If you know the answers to the questions, well then good for you, you are a smarty pants. And if you don't know the answers to the questions, don't worry about it. We've got some little quicks that are gonna help us with the answers so we can all learn together. Okay, little quicks, let's start with an easy one. Is Quick Dick holding a flower, weed, crop, or feed? It's a flower. Flower. You are correct. Now, what can you tell Quick Dick about this flower? A black-eyed Susan represents motivation and encouragement. A stalk of a uh, black-eyed Susan grows three feet tall. Now, can anybody tell Quick Dick what the provincial flower of Saskatchewan is? Here are some hints. It is on our flag and it is in the start of Quick Dick's video. Provincial flower of Saskatchewan and is the paradigm. They are a wild flower. <laughs> That's right, little quicks. The prairie lily, or the tiger lily, grows in the wild right here in the prairie provinces. It's a little bit out of season right now, so Quick Dick can't show you one in this video, but it's a very beautiful flower. Now, let's keep moving on. Can anybody tell Quick Dick, is Quick Dick holding a flower, weed, crop, or feed? Quick Dick, that's crop. You're right again, little quicks. Can you tell Quick Dick what kind of crop this is? Black canola, Quick Dick. Hoo-hoo, you're absolutely right. Now for a bonus question, can you tell Quick Dick where you find canola crops being used right in your own house? We use canola oil cooking sprays where food doesn't stick. Haha, -ha, great example, little quicks. Say, while we're at it, why don't we have a look at some other crops that are found right here in the Prairie Provinces? What kind of crop is this, little quicks? That crop is oats. Woohoo! You're absolutely right! Oats are one of Quick Dick's favorite things! Can you show Quick Dick somewhere in your house that you would find oats? You can find oats in your pantry. You can make these things with oats. Bread, porridge, apple crisp, oatmeal cookies. Excellent example, little quicks. Now, can you tell Quick Dick what kind of crop this is? We come and get it, girls. Oh, you're right. Now, can you show Quick Dick an example of where you would find wheat in your house? Soup, breadcrumbs, croutons, bread, pasta, and pancake mix. Baked goods like cake, cookies, brownies, crackers, cereal, flour, pizza. Ah, very good, little quicks. Now, can anybody tell Quick Dick what kind of crop this is? That's a barley crop, Quick Dick. Hoo-hoo! Once again, a fine observation, little quicks. Now, can you give Quick Dick one last example of where you would find barley around your house? You can, you can find, find barley being used in your home. Some of your breakfast. Some of our favorite snacks. And some of your lunch. And in some of our favorites, too. Barley. Great job, little quicks. Now, some of you little quicks out there are saying, hey, Quick Dick, barley and wheat look a lot the same. How do we tell the difference? Well, just think of Quick Dick. Barley has got a little bit longer of a beard than wheat does. <laughs> wheat, barley. All right, Quick Dick has a fantastic idea. Why don't we stop and take a quick pee break? Well, what did you think I was talking about, silly? This is a crop of peas. And you can find them when somebody makes you something delicious like split pea soup. It's a great source of protein. Ha, 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 ha. 
Nothing like a little pee joke. All right, moving on, little quicks. Can you tell Quick Dick, is this a flower, weed, crop, or feed? It's a weed! Well, I see there is no fooling you. Now, could you tell Quick Dick what kind of weed this is and where you might find it? This is a fish hook. You can find it in your ditches, in your fields, and all over Saskatchewan. And watch out, they're pokey. You are quite clever, little Quicks. All right, last question. Is Quick Dick holding a flower, weed, crop, or feed? My goodness, you are quite clever. Quick Dick thought he could fool you, but he couldn't. Okay, what kind of feed is this, and where do we commonly find it used? That's alfalfa, Quick Dick. Alfalfa grows in fields, then we make it into bales, and then we feed it to the cows. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. Great job, little Quicks. Alfalfa is commonly used for hay here in the Prairie Provinces. Why don't we have a fast look at how we make hay? First of all, you take a crop that looks like this and you make it look like that. That's right, the first step is cutting it into swaths. And we cut it into swaths by using one of, one of these. That's called a hay vine. It's like a great big lawnmower. Then you take the field that looks like this and you make it look like this by using which is a hay rake. It's like a big rake for your lawn. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey? Look at that guy. So then once we have it all raked, it looks like this and we make it look like this using one of those big fellas back there. That's called a baler. <laughs> and then once you get all the bales made, it's Quick Dick's favorite part of haying because we get to hang out with Blue ball. Hey, Blue Ball. So we're just gonna take Blue Ball here and go like this. Wasn't that fast? We do that using that big fella back there. Then we're gonna haul all of this hay to the yard where we feed it to the horses. Right, buddy? And we also feed it to cattle during the winter time when all the grass is covered by snow and there's nothing for them to eat. Now, remember when we talked about oats and barley and wheat? Well, sometimes they get used as feed for cattle and horses and all other kinds of livestock through the winter as well. Man, this sure has been fun getting to hang out with all you little quicks, but Quick Dick's gotta keep bailing tonight. But before Quick Dick goes, why don't we review the three rules that you must follow in order to be a certified little quick? Can anybody tell Quick Dick what his first rule of being a certified little quick is? I just taught my dog how to paddleboard. And don't forget to share what you've got with others. That's right! Sharing with others is fun, and Quick Dick is glad you taught your dog how to paddleboard and that he has a life jacket on. Very responsible. Now, can anyone tell Quick Dick what the number two rule is for being a certified little quick? Be proud of where you're from. That's right. Where you're from has made you the awesome person that you are. Now, what about rule number three? Can you tell me what it is, little quicks? Help us. <laughs> me up he makes me laugh all the time and you know you should laugh as often as you can because laughter makes you feel good inside <laughs> this is quick dick brick dick signing off reminding you don't forget to sing and don't forget to dance and don't forget to poop outside of your pants we'll catch you next time <laughs>